Hello mermaids, it's Serafina Delirium and I hope you're having a mermazing, fantastic day. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video and I really appreciate that you are spending your time with me today. So Christmas just happened, 2022. Oh my gosh, what did you guys do for Christmas? How did you spend your holiday? Was it a fun-filled holiday um, with Christmas cheer and caroling and presents and all the good things, hot chocolate and cookies and Santa Claus? Or was it hard? Um, how, how do you feel about Christmas? You have mixed feelings about it. Did you have a good time or a hard time? Because sometimes Christmas can be the most magical time of the year and other times it's a little iffy, it's a little hard. For me, I'm an alienated parent, so I understand Christmas can be pretty dicey. And you know, you have family stress, you have holiday shopping stress, traffic, oh my God, you cannot, I wouldn't even get into, like delve into some of the experiences that I've had on the road with crazy drivers this year. But not only that, but the weather has been super chill not in a good way, super, super cold, freezing, like all time low freezing temperatures. I was so worried about my chickens and my dog and the cats couldn't go outside and like my snakes chill. I do have a pet snake, but like everything is just, it's crazy. I was so worried about a lot of you guys out there dealing with this cold weather and people that didn't have anywhere to go, animals that didn't have anywhere to go. And I'm just like so grateful that the wild birds outside my house are like, yeah, we're good. We're cool. And I'm like, how did you do it? <laughs> you know, I was so worried about you. So let me know how you spent your Christmas. I do want to hear about it. I want to hear all of your stories and I read everything. I reply to everything. I really appreciate you taking the time to leave a comment and I care about you guys. You're like my YouTube family, you know, so um, we're in this together when sometimes get hard and sometimes things get hard and things are to be celebrated. There are different things that we're here together for thick and thin. So thank you so much for coming back to my channel, listening to this little spiel. And of course, as you know, I'm celebrating 416 YouTube subscribers now, or is it 417? I don't know. I think it's 416. Check down below. <laughs> Let me know which one it is. Is it 416 or 417? Either way, thank you all so much for being here, for putting up with me, um, some of my videos are like, eh, the lighting's not that great. I uh, need to work on that a little bit. Like my last three videos were definitely iffy. I'm not happy with the cover, like the, the thumbnail photo. I'm just like, what is this? Is This is just atrocious. <laughs> like, But you know, we're here. We're back. Today's a little bit simpler makeup look. It's not as crazy. And what I'm wearing on my face today is, I'm going to start with as usual, I, I put this on first. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, matte and poreless for normal to oily skin. It's it's uh, down to a little bit lower than this line now. It's like right here. I need to remark it. But this is in 110 Porcelain. And it's got a little, little dust bunny up there. But yeah, I like this shade. It blends well. It covers well. I usually will do two. Um, I'll put it on, then I'll put another layer on. And I use my little black beauty blender sponge. Um, after that, I put on my powder today. This is what I'm using right now. This is the Physician's Formula um, Butter Buddies Banana Powder. This is in Baby Butter. And she's just adorable as can be. I love this powder. Great coverage. Smells good. It's like a florally butter scent. And I just think it's the cutest packaging ever. So I put that over top. I used my Farah Blush and Highlight Brush. This is the, the brush that I use for powder right now. And you can kind of see the, like the, the powderies in there. And it just smells so good now. Of course, this side is for my um, bronzer. I did not use bronzer today. Over top, I used my Inmo Cosmetics Velveteen Dream Shadow, which I'm trying to pan. This is in Hot Girl Summer. It's a single shadow. So here it is in the packaging and you take the lid off and we have that much left or that much has been used up. So I've been using this since like June or July of 2022. I had it for a while. I don't even know how long I've had this, at least a year. So I just want to use it as much as possible and it's great for simple looks. I love the shade. Much better than the Medusa's makeup look that I came out with in my last video. So I did use my pinkies, so there's a little bit of shimmer left on my pinkies, 
to apply it is what I'm saying. I use my pinkies to apply it and there's a little bit of shimmer left on my pinkies. But then to like even it out on my eyes, I used the SO Miss Glam Eyeshadow 04 brush from the Rainbow Lux collection. And I got this brush from Ipsy. I got like two Rainbow Lux collections from Ipsy. So I have quite a few of those brushes. Also, I used my John to Blue. It's a felt tip eyeliner. This is professional art makeup liquid eyeliner that lasts 24 hours and it's in black. I like that it has a lipstick indentation or indentation. <laughs> what is this? Image on it. I think it's adorable and it's a felt tip. So today, I think I did a pretty good job. Although there's a little space between the eyeliner and my eyelashes. I was going to fill that in with like another eyeliner, like a colorful one, but I don't really feel like it. Um, for mascara, I'm using my Tarte Tartist Lash Paint, and it's two milliliters. It's just a little miniature mascara that I got from Ipsy. Most of this makeup came from Ipsy, or like a lot of it. I love this wand. Um, it's the tiniest little mascara ever. Great travel size mascara. It's like a deluxe sample, glorified sample. Um, but I love the wand. I want to get this full size, even though I really don't need it because I have a mascara hoard and an eyeliner hoard and I really don't need anything ever again. But I would totally get that full size. So for my lipstick, I'm using something new that, um, well, I haven't gotten my Manusa's makeup lipstick yet, but I did decide to start using this for more videos. This is a Carmella Cosmetics lipstick and it's in high vibe. So here's the packaging. I love the K on it. It's so cool. K is all over it for Carmella. And then you open it and you've got this glorious red here and it just looks good. It looks good. It's good to apply. It doesn't really have a minty um, taste now that I think about it or smell sensation it really doesn't like if you put it on you're like mm, you just got to get used to it but if your lips are really sensitive you might not like it um because of that just slight tingling sensation when you first put it on but after a while I started to think maybe it was just me like I had put something else on my lips and then I put this on and it like didn't mesh well because now that my lips are cool like I use chapstick on a regular basis because I have really sensitive lips now that I'm realizing it might just be that I used something else because I was trying a lot of stuff, swatching other stuff all the time. I don't think it was the Carmella that I had the real sensitivity to. I think it was another product. So anyway, that's everything I'm wearing on my face. And obviously by the title of this video, you're wondering, when am I going to get started showing you what I got for Christmas? So my subscriber inventory is 416 or 417, something like that. And I'm so grateful for all of you. Thank you so much. And I want to tell you what I got for Christmas for 2022. And first up, I'm going to start with books. I am so excited. I am extending my Nancy Drew collection. Okay, I read Nancy Drew. Do I look like a Nancy Drew fan? Because I kind of look like her a little bit. The uh, uh, Fetitian, what is it? Titian Blonde. It's T-I-T-I-A-N. I think that's the word. <laughs> Because she was like this blonde who's always solving mysteries. And I just watched the movie. So I have a Nancy Drew book collection. And I've read one through like five. And then nine, 10, 11, 12, I think. And I had to get those books in the middle. So let me show you the books that I got for Christmas to add to my little Nancy Drew collection. Okay. So these are the ones I got for Christmas that Brian got me. And I have read one through five as well as 9, 10, 11, and I believe 12. So that's quite a few I've already read, and these are the ones that I was missing that I didn't have in my collection, so this is gonna be next. I have a book, do I have any books open really? I don't have any novels that I'm reading. I'm reading a, like a daily prayer book right now, but I'm really excited about starting The Secret of Redgate Farm, and then right after that, because I really wanna read them in order, um, I will have The Clue in the Diary to read next, as well as Nancy's Mysterious Letter. This one looks good. Um, I love the cliffhanging suspense and thrilling action, but it's like for teenage girls, so it's not violent. Um, like some of the books that I've read lately, um, The Girl on the Train is the book that I just finished and it was quite a read. It was like a soap opera thriller, <laughs> like Days of Our Lives, 
but thriller like whoa it, it had me at the end like that was intense that escalated quickly so i'm not reading anything like that for a while but um yeah, i was telling brian all about it like he was just listening intently to my story and i'm like that was intense so thank you for listening so i'm not going to give you the whole layout of that but i'm really excited about reading nancy drew again yes i love nancy drew i definitely want to have all of them in this collection the, the vintage yellow Nancy Drew books. I want to have all, I think it's like close to 50. It's either 48 or 52, somewhere in there. But there's a lot of them. And yes, I want to read the whole collection in my lifetime. And I want to own the whole collection. Because that's just how I do books. I like to own them. I don't like to read them on a screen. I like to hold it in my hand. Okay, so next up I have a few more books. This is a collection that I've never owned. I have not read the whole collection, but I remember having this in second or third grade. I remember Miss Sheridan was the library at my school. It was Natural Bridge Elementary School. Um, and it's funny, my mom was a music teacher there and that was just, I loved music and I loved books. So I was always reading as a kid. And this series, we had the Scholastic Book Fairs back then, but I was a poor kid. I couldn't afford stuff like that. So this is vintage, like, now I can finally afford it and it's cheap and it's on Mercari and I have the entire collection. You can't find these on Amazon. This was a Mercari find. The Nancy Drew books I got on Amazon, they're much cheaper. It's much cheaper to find books and movies on Amazon, like DVDs or physical copies of books. But like on Mercari, man. So I believe this is the one that I read as a kid. I believe. I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, but we have all of these gorgeous books. We have the Unicorn's Secret series. This is the Unicorn's Secret series. This is Moon Silver, the first one. And then we have the Silver Thread, the second one. Then we have the Silver Bracelet, the third one. We have the Mountains of the Moon. Then we have the Sunset Gates. I think this is about a bad guy. After that, we have True Heart. Looks like a warrior here. We have Castle Avamir, which looks familiar. And then we have The Journey Home. This one also looks familiar. I feel like I've read some of these when I was a kid, but it's been so long. Like, there's so many books I have just plum forgotten about. I don't know if I read them or not because I was like a little girl, you know? But I know I loved horses and I loved unicorns. Um, I loved animals. I wanted to be a veterinarian when I grew up, so I was just obsessed with horses and unicorns and things like that when I was a kid. So it's really exciting to be able to read these books, and a big thank you to Brian for buying all of these books for me for Christmas because, I don't know, I get really excited about books. Thanks for listening. All right, onward we go. So this next present is from my mom. She, um, this was a last minute find. Now, Quick history, I love briar horses, so of course I love horses, so I never owned a horse. I wanted to. I've owned a cow, I've owned four goats, I've owned chickens, which I still have. Um, I had a dog, I've had cats, I've had rabbits, I've had everything. Everything with the kitchen sink and everything but a horse, so I love briar horses. I collect briar horses, only the special ones at this point, and this one is from my mom for Christmas. She just told me, pick out something you want, and I did. Well, I actually asked for this <laughs> typical little girl thing. Um, still kind of a little girl to my mom. So she got me this. This is Cora, Mermaid of the Sea. And I, a couple birthdays ago, I got the unicorns. There's a unicorn called Serafina. There's one called Fourth Wind. There's Skylar. There's a whole bunch of them I'd love to get for my daughter, Amy. This is Cora, and she is gorgeous. She looks like a mermaid horse. I love this. This is new for 2022, so she just came out. And on the back it says, Unlike her land-dwelling cousins, Cora calls the sea home when she ventures to shore to walk along the sandy beach. Her true nature remains a part of her in the form of detailed mermaid scales that blanket her back. Cora's pearly pastel coat begins as pinky purple and deepens to a gorgeous inky blue and purple, bringing to mind the natural iridescence and coloring of seashells. Her beautiful look is completed with golden hooves. She's beautiful. This is a 90s throwback. Yeah, 90s throwback horse is what it's called. I don't really like the leopard spots, but I do love this mermaid looking horse. She's just beautiful. She's like, she needs a unicorn horn, but she doesn't need a unicorn horn because she's just gorgeous. Thank you so much, Mom, for my horse. 
I also have this bad boy. Okay, so I've wanted <laughs> Spirit and Rain. Do you guys, have you guys ever seen Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron? Not Spirit, um, Riding Free. That is totally different from the classic 2000s. Uh, 2002, really, but 2000 Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron, with an M, with the Indian, and rain, and all the cool stuff that happened in the soldiers in the Civil War, you know. So, I wanted that horse forever, and I've been looking for Spirit and rain in mint condition in the box, like this horse right here, um, Cora, Mermaid of the Sea. But, you know, I got Spirit riding free, new in the box. I have him, okay? He's special as heck, because he looks just like Spirit, but he's, he has a stripe down his nose and he's a little bit lighter. He's not as, like, detailed. He doesn't have the, the same eyebrows that I believe his grandfather is. Is Spirit 2002 Spirit Riding Free's grandfather or father? Because, like, there were Briar's horses, uh, the whole family of Briar's horses, which I have both or had both. I sold one of them. We had Rain, Spirit, and then their baby was a mix between uh, what Spirit looks like and what Rain looks like. So it, it was like a a palomino, or not a palomino, spotted paint horse, basically. Buckskin paint is what he was, because uh, Spirit is a buckskin with black mane and, like, orange skin, basically, buckskin. And Rain is a paint with, like, a blonde mane, and um, she's, like, chestnut paint with blue eyes. She's gorgeous, got a feather in her mane. I was not able to get her for Christmas, but Brian got me this guy for Christmas. He was close to $100. <clears throat> I was not happy with how he was packed, because it came from Mercari, and they kind of just threw him in the box. But I have already fixed his, um, just a few scrapes, dings. This is a vintage Briar's horse. This is Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron, 2002 Spirit. He's not mint in the box, but he's still collectible, and he's still worth quite a lot of money. These are 300 or more dollars mint in the box. This guy was close to $100 out of the box, and if he was resold... He could be sold for more than that. Probably could get 200 bucks for him if I wanted to, but I do not. I've been looking for him for like ever and he's really special and now I just need to get Rain and it doesn't matter if Rain is mint in the box or not because I would like her to match him. So if she's in this good condition, um, they can certainly go together for the rest of their lives and be in a happy place taken care of. I would keep this guy under glass and I really, like, I mean, I would keep him under glass. He is so special. Thank you so much, Brian, for making this possible after all of these years. I was a very poor kid, so this was such a big deal to me. And hunting for this for years and years, this is my, what do you call it? <laughs> when you have this special thing that you're looking for. I want to say my pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. My um, briar collectors, they know exactly what term I'm talking about. While I googled the term, I have no idea what it is. It's in the back of my head. I'll probably remember it like 3 o'clock in the morning or something. But it just means that the most important, wanted, wish-listed horses from Briar, um, this is the term for that. Like, these are the ones you want the most. They're like my rainbow finds, my most sought after. Um, this guy is on that list. Like, I started saying, I don't want any other Briar's horses. I just want Spirit and Rain. And there are so many people that want these horses. They will do anything for them. This is worth putting insurance on, like, for me, because he's so valuable to me. I know that $300 might not be a lot for some people, but for me, like, that's a lot. <laughs> this is a lot of money. And the value, the sentimental value is way more. Like, it's skyrocketed. He's, like, really important is what I'm saying. But um, just getting him for Christmas is such a big deal. Can't put enough emphasis on how much this meant to me. Okay, so next up I have kind of a random goodie bag of stuff. Just to break up the uh, pace here break up the, maybe if you're bored of Briar Sources, you want to look at makeup, right? So here's my little gift bag. I kind of put everything back in the bag. It says, to Sarah Beth from Santa. <laughs> it's kind of a mix of stuff from mom, from Brian, and from myself. <laughs> we'll just be honest, some of this is from me, to me. But um, this is something Brian got for me so I can finally wash my darn face with something other than a wet wipe because it's got to go. We've got to start being more environmentally friendly about this. So these are reusable microfiber facial cleansing pads. That is a mouthful. There are three in here. There's two purple and one is gray. 
one on the bottom is gray. So I really like these, got them at Walmart. And you simply wet the pads and gently wipe off your makeup. For heavy makeup or waterproof makeup, suggest um, a cleanser or toner. I don't use toners, so I don't really understand them, but I can try it at some point. So you use these and you remove the makeup in a circular motion, flipping the cloth over until all makeup is removed. So this will help. We have a washing machine in the house now, which is also new for this year that mom, that grandma got for Christmas. So um, it'll help. I can just throw those in the washing machine and it's not a big deal anymore. That was one reason I used wet wipes because we had to go to the laundromat for everything. Don't have to do that anymore. Thank you, Jesus. So. That was not sarcasm, by the way. That was me actually saying thank you, God, for a washing machine because we went through a lot of shit to get it. So up next, I have socks. These are from my mom, and she oh, she has this tradition of getting me socks every like birthday or Christmas. She knows I love fuzzy socks, and she always gets me socks. It's just a thing that we do. So she got me these cute little pink and white polka dotted ones. These are Christmas cozy socks. And I love them. They're so cute and pink. And then there's another pair here that's like a navy blue with spots on them. Christmas cozy socks. Love them. They look comfy. I can't wait to wear them. I've been waiting to make this video before I wore anything. I just wanted to show you what I got. All right. These are from Brian. He knew I wanted some candy one day. I, I had my period right before Christmas and he always gets me chocolate, right? It's like, all right, you might need these. <laughs> and I'm kind of glad that Mother Nature brought that. It's always a hallelujah moment, even though my, my husband is neutered. Not neutered. He had a um, vasectomy, so that really helps us out. But, you know, periods aren't fun. So he got me some almond joys. <laughs> Too much personal information, but that's okay. We're having fun with this, aren't we, ladies? The vasectomies are not that hard if your man loves you and you don't want any more kids. Because you got to pay attention to the ones you got. They're actually really good. For the family and they they alleviate a lot of stress so he was like you've been through enough i'm doing this for you you don't have to get pregnant anymore we don't have to worry about it you know i, th I think he really loves me guys so he got me some almond joys as an extra added bonus showing me he loves me so up next we have something did he get this or did i get these these are just an easy um, equate grooming essentials kit. We have nail clippers. These are the ones I'll probably use. I can give these to Brian. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't really need the tweezers. <laughs> I have so many daggone tweezers. But these I can definitely use. Nail clippers. Up next, I have this. It came free with something. So I might give this to one of you guys if you want it. But this is a Smarter Beauty Travel Bottle. Um, it's got a little thanks for your purchase sticker on the top of it. Looks like someone at some point paid 12 bucks for this thing. So it is, I thought, a travel bottle was something you drink out of, right? Because I think of travel, drinking, travel bottle, drinking bottle, right? Wrong. It's a shampoo bottle. You put your shampoo in this for traveling. And then you use this part as a scrubby. Like, you scrub yourself with this. And I'm like in the world I've never seen anything like that before so I mean I could try it I I think my dog would have really liked this he would really like this but oh wells I'm gonna use this and see if I like it or not or I could give it to someone else if they need it but I think it's pretty interesting so the only thing left in this bag is three lovely beautiful bottles of something I really want to try especially this gold one this gold one is gorgeous so first I'm going to show you the purple ones. These are OPI nail lacquers. I have one in purple. It is purple with a purpose. And I have one in Do You Lilac It? Gorgeous. These would go really well together as complimentary purples. And then the third one I have is in Kozu Melted in the Sun. C-O-Z-U. The names are so weird. I can't get over the names. They're just always different. I'm like, what does that mean? So I love this. It's a rose gold, kind of like the ones I, well, this one is on my middle finger. It is a LA Colors. So let's swatch it really quick on the finger that doesn't have any nail polish on it. What would be this one? Oh, that's lovely. I'll put it on my pinky too, because it also doesn't have any nail polish. And that would be our swatch. This one and the pinky are our swatches of Kozu Melted in the Sun. Is that the name of this? Kozu Melted in the Sun. Okay, this is our gorgeous swatched 
nail polish. Love it. Beautiful. I can't wait to paint my whole, all my nails with this. I love that color. It's just pretty. Okay, so up next I have one thing. I've been using this as a purse. It's kind of like a Chanel bag, but it's definitely faux. This is a Lola May, and you can look up Lola May, L-O-L-A-M-A-E, on Amazon. Just look up Lola May on Amazon. You'll find a bunch of different bags that they sell. Very cute. Looks like the real thing. You could even put a Chanel brooch on it. I have a faux Chanel brooch right here that I love. I could put this with it and that would be gorgeous. Look at that. I could stick that on my bag. And you know, real Chanel collectors would tell you, you know, that's not Chanel. doesn't look anything like Chanel. But those of us who don't know, we're just happy to have something beautiful that reminds us of that lifestyle because you don't need to have a bunch of money or spend a bunch of money to look rich. And this gets like looks all the time. And I like the idea that it's not real because, or it doesn't look as real as Chanel because then it doesn't make me look like I have money I don't have. Um, Cause you can be judged either way. I don't wanna be that kind of person that looked like she spent a whole bunch of money on a purse or whatever on herself. And like, my, you know, we don't have enough money to buy groceries or whatever. So that's not the case. So my mom actually, I bought this for my mom for her birthday. She didn't use it. She didn't want it. She gave it to me. And I, I just, I'm so grateful to be able to use it. It's gorgeous. It's full of stuff. Um, but inside you can see the Lola May tag right there underneath all of my, my junk inside. It's just masks and lanyards and car keys. And then I have this faux Louis Vuitton thing that I keep like my, my credit cards. Well, I don't use credit cards. My debit card, my checkbook, because I still write checks when I have to. My, you know, everything. Coupons and everything like that. So it's all in there. And I just, I love this. It's faux. It came with my Never Full Tote that I got on DH Gate. So this was a DH Gate find. And this was worth the money, but the bag that it came in was not. So I just, I love this bag. This is beautiful, and this is nice, and they go well together. It just fits, just fits inside of it, so. Okay, dropped the nail polish, <laughs> never mind. Okay, where were we? So, we're at the end of this video, and I have one last thing that I got for Christmas. There might be some, I'm a little mixed on showing it to you guys, but I have to be honest with you. I've been grieving for a long time. So I put a happy face on sometimes inside. I'm not that happy. My husband can tell when I make videos. He can tell when I'm upset making a video and I'm like, hey everybody, everything's great. And you know, and it's not because I'm grieving all the time for um, children. It's very hard. I've wanted to be a mother since actually the time I was five years old. And I love my babies. I love my children. Nothing else matters more to me and nothing hurts more than having your child used against you as a weapon. So having your children taken, I was 18 when it first started happening and that's just so young. Um, well, younger than that, actually 16, 17. It started happening before she was, my first was born. So it's just a very sad life um, situation, life comma situation is what I meant to say. So. I have been looking into um, therapy dolls or reborn babies and I've really done my research on it because I was like, okay, could this help me heal? And um, I was wanting to find one that would look as much like my daughter newborn as possible and I'm going to show you her picture. Okay, so I was very young, but this is my daughter Amy in 2011 when she was about five months old, five or six months old, and they were still letting me see her at that time at the evil mother-in-law's house. And then they made me go to social services to see my daughter because they were trying to start a little case, didn't go through, and so they made me like pay for visitation. And I think that's where these pictures were taken. She was very young and they were just very cruel about it. So I still have these pictures from that time when she was first kind of taken away from me. I kind of lost my shit back then. Um, but I've stabilized now, stabilized now because, I mean, what are you supposed to do when people take your kid for no good reason and they make stuff up about you? How do you, like, one, how do you do that to, the, to a person and then two, how do you deal with it? I was young. I didn't know. So, uh, people are mean. That's just who people are. And, um, sometimes that's just how the world works. So, um, that's what she looked like. So, I wanted to find 
photos that were as close to that as possible. I also have her newborn baby pictures and she was adorable but red <laughs> because pretty much all newborn babies look a little red or they're splotchy and you know they've just been born. So um, I, I, I found a baby that looked like her and I was looking at it for forever. And before we get to the last part of the video which is my Amy doll, my reborn baby Amy doll which is precious to me. Um, she really is. Um, before we get into that, I want to show you some gifts that my son Seamus got for me. He is my oldest son. He is my rainbow baby. The baby that I had a few years after Amy was taken and then I had Seamus and he was very healing for me or I think he, he's just a wonderful child. So he got me a couple things and I want to show them to you. Okay, so hair is a little out of place here, <laughs> but um, does this work? I don't know. I don't know if this works or not. Wait, it's a little bit too forward. Okay, there it is. That's perfect. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> so he got me this. This is the Nestle Hot Cocoa Mug gift set. And it's just this adorable mug that I'm definitely going to use. I like the look of it. And it's got hot cocoa in it. If I look in here, what, is, what do we have here? Ooh, there's a whole whole gift set in there. Of um, I want to open. I want to see what's in here. What's in here? Can I open it? I don't want to tear it up though. I'll open it later. But he got me this, and I, I like it. Very nice. I'm gonna use this, and let's see how good this Nestle hot cocoa is, right? Because my kids know I love hot chocolate. Hot chocolate's my thing, yo. I love it. So I'm put that there. And the other thing I left in the living room. I need to go get it. I hung it up on the mantel because I have all these the birth certificates for my kids. Three out of four of my babies were born at home, so I, they have. I have three born at home birth certificates on the wall and they're, they're picture next to it or over top of it. Of course, Amy's is a little different, but it just says a uh, certificate of birth, you know, and it's a, like a homemade one and they're all on the wall and their picture is next to it. So let me go get the thing that Seamus made for me that is next to his picture. Be right back. Okay, so I think this was a school project and he painted this. So we have two gnomes here and I said, look, it's me. And you, Seamus. And I have to say, like, these are my my final two presents. Not the mug, but this and the thing after this. And this trumps my baby doll <laughs> because he made this for me because homemade gifts for my children are my absolute favorite things. And I have Amy, Seamus, Alexander, and Dallas. And then my fifth child, she's my bonus child. And I'm not going to say her name on YouTube because I respect her wishes. She doesn't want her name on the internet. I respect that. Um, if any of my other children say, hey, I don't want my name on the internet, mom, let me know and I will stop saying your name on the internet. But I do have a bonus child. I respect that she's my stepdaughter, not my real daughter. I'm never going to try to take the place of her mother. You just don't do that. So, um, so five all together. I love them all. And this is from my second born, first born son, second born child, Seamus. And I really love it. I love the mug and I love the picture. It's very special. So, let me show you the last thing I got, which is my Amy doll. Okay, mermaids. So, last but not least, this is a gift that Brian got for me. Um, we ordered this doll from Paradise Galleries. We had a terrible experience with Paradise Galleries. Did not get the doll. And so, I had this seller that I was talking to. Um, before I ordered from Paradise Galleries, I was thinking about ordering it from this seller on Mercari. And there are tons of baby dolls on Mercari, reborn baby dolls, some very expensive dolls. Um, so this one was about $100. And when I got her, she had a different outfit on and I didn't know, I was just like bracing myself for opening this box because this is such a big deal. I can't even put into words how big of a deal it was getting this baby doll. Um, and I'm trying to tell myself, you know, it's, it's a doll. You have a doll. You can't pretend it's a real person. You can't pretend it's a real baby because that would be, you know, kind of demented. Um, so I have to stick to um, reality, too, and realize that it's, you know, it's, it's a little different. Um, but I'm not having any more children. I want to focus on the ones that I've got. And I'm trying to heal um, from what happened with Amy as well as Alexander. Similar events happen with Alexander, although different but similar sadly because some people are just trolls and they they hurt kids and it's just fun for them to play games with people so um it's difficult um and when i opened this box 
that she came in, which is right behind me. I will never put her in a box ever again. Um, oh my goodness, this was the box that she came in, and um, it looks like a little baby coffin, doesn't it? I swear. And uh, I opened it up, and I was looking at her, and I, I just slowly brought her out, and I cried. <laughs> And I put her up to me, and she just smelled like she, they had this newborn baby smell. It's like a uh, newborn baby wafer or something inside of them. And I felt like I was holding my daughter again for the first time in over a decade. It was like having her back again, um, which is crazy because, um, you know, she was taken so young. And when I first gave birth to her, the doctor it wouldn't even let me hold her. They took her right away, put her on a table and all that. And I'm like, after all I've been through just now, I'm shaking. I am completely traumatized. My birth experience was horrific. Um, and um, it just, I don't even want to get into it. So I didn't even get to hold her when she was first born. They finally gave her back and all that. But it was terrible. It was just terrible. And um, I felt like I was able to have her back. So, let me show her to you. Okay, 36 minutes later. This is my Amy doll. And she is actually wearing a replica outfit of Amy's first outfit. Now, Amy's real first outfit um, that she wore to my wedding, actually, when I was, I was 17 years old. And my daughter wore that to my wedding because she was very young, like a month old. I had her October 2nd, October 3rd. And... Got married to the jerk on 30, the 31st of October 2010. So she was actually wearing this outfit. And um, I put this on this baby, my first Halloween right here. And the, the real outfit is tucked away in her little trunk. She has a little trunk that she had. And she looks a little bit different from Amy. The hair is different. It's like a mohair. It's not the same hair, but she is... She is blonde. Um, I wanted to get a doll that was blonde. So there's a similarity here, um, but different. So I, it's, it's mixed. It's mixed feelings, you know. Um, sorry, I had to gain my composure for this. It's a little, a little different. I, I think lots of people, um, grieving moms, grandparents, um, might want to look into this. Um, this kind of doll is used for um, pe old, old people with Alzheimer's and uh, nursing homes and things and it really helps in some situations and it just depends on whether they're able to bond with it. For me it's like I know it's a doll. I don't want to go on off the deep end here um, but I want to be able to heal and if I need to treat this like a real baby then I will. So it's, it's hard. I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but it's like this huge deal to me that I've been so immersed in for so long. Like it started in like 2012 that I started to, because that's the last time I saw my daughter was 2012. It was June 2020, 2012. And um, since then I've been looking into something like this and I didn't want to look like an insane person. So um, I finally did it. Um, Brian got me this for Christmas and... I think she's just beautiful. Now her limbs, let's just get into the actual doll, shall we? Her limbs are, they're like a soft rubber. She's cold. She's not warm like a real baby. She smells like a real baby, but a little different too. Um, as close as you can get. So these feel real. They're like real limbs. And then the rest is cloth. And if you pick her up, her legs up to here are real feeling legs and this is cloth so I don't really want to undress her in front of you and show her to you but you can certainly find pictures of reborn babies on the internet and the binky is magnetic so it's not a real binky she wouldn't take a real binky she's hand painted eyebrows are hand painted eyelashes are um, put in there and of course the neck's got a little wrinkles here I think she's just absolutely beautiful if I take the hat off, I'm going to show you what she looks like with the hat off because I'm going to put it back on. But she does not look exactly like Amy. She's got a little bit of a broader head. But the thing is, Amy is shaped, was shaped more like her father's side of the family. 
So she does have a little bit of a bigger head, so this is appropriate. Um, but she looks like me, which is probably um, something that they don't like, but it just is what it is. And I'm grateful for that because, um, you know, you want your kid to look like you. So. so this is our doll here. That's her hair. And I'll show you a picture of her again. So I have to kind of compare and think respectfully. I've, I've tried so hard to get the doll that was the most like her as I could so that I could finally grieve the right way. Because there's no... There's no closure with alienation. There's no ending to it. Um, there's no headstone. There's no funeral. There's no memorial service. There's just silence on the other end. You, you contact, you leave gifts, you call lawyers, and there's just no end to it. So in order to have closure, I feel like this is kind of my only option. I've tried everything with this family and sometimes there's just there's no winning with it that's just how it is but when you have love in your heart and you continue making the effort as hard and painful as it is and you're swept under the rug like you're invisible but you continue to try sometimes you just have to wait for God to answer because that's all you can do is just wait for God because he knows everything I hate to get religious about it, but it's a, it's a difficult situation. So, um, I feel like there's something else. Her picture, let me show you her picture again and compare you. Compare her. That's the thing, like, it's hard to show you stuff and I don't want to drop it and break it. So I have, like, Amy compared to Amy. So it's similar, very similar. And, of course, this one has her eyes closed. So you can't see those gorgeous blue eyes on her. So that's as, that's as close as it gets. I think the picture of her in the yellow and green outfit is pretty daggone close to this one. I think it's as close as it can get. Honestly, I think I did a really good job. Unless she was custom made, I think this is the best, um, the best um, comparison that we're gonna get. So let me put her down so that I don't drop her in the floor. Um, I want to be very careful with this doll because she's so special to me. Um, so I'm going to put her down and I'll be right back. Alrighty, mermaids. So it's been quite an eventful Christmas and I've gotten a lot of different gifts. Like I've gotten books, I've gotten socks, i got makeup remover stuff. I ordered myself a lipstick. It hasn't come yet. That's okay. Um, I've got two briar horses, a new bag, a new purse, some candy, some interesting stories that I told you about. So I'll just do this as like a get to know me video because you've learned a few things today, I think, maybe. Unless you already knew about my situation, unless you've been kind of watching videos from the get go. But either way, you learn a little bit more every day. I thank you so much for watching, for being here, for caring about me. Um, for being my friend, my little YouTube family. I'm here for you too. Put your stories down below. I'd love to hear what you got for Christmas, what you did for Christmas, how you spent your time, and what you're going to be doing for the new year. What are your resolutions for next year? Um, the 31st is a Saturday, so that'll be New Year's Eve. That'll be it, and I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Maybe I get ready with me. Maybe not. Maybe I'll take a break. I don't know yet we'll just see I've got some work to do in the house and I've been filming for quite some time so I definitely have some work to do in the house I have not done it I've been neglecting it so I can film this so I really appreciate you being here and I hope you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel because it will be more where this came from have a great day and I'll see you in the next one bye mermaids